today we're going to be working on a Kenmore made by LG. The model number is on the display. Welcome to DIY Repair Now. Read all the warnings. And during this video, you will see one or more of these icons to help you do this repair safe. Okay, the problem that we have with this refrigerator is that it's not giving any ice. You see ice on the bucket, but it's not producing any ice. That's the existing ice before it stops working. The ice maker does not have any water or ice inside the tray, but it does have ice on the bucket because it was working before. Now we are trying to reset the ice maker to try to make water to come in. The ice maker went to the cycle, through the cycle, and it didn't give any water. In a few seconds, you will hear how it sounds like it's trying to get water in, but it does not give any water. Now this button, I don't know if that reset the ice maker or not, but that's to get small amount of um, ice, medium or large. And as you can see, it's going through the cycle and we're not getting any water. We don't get any water on the water dispenser either. So we don't get anything from the ice maker or water line water dispenser and you can hear it that it's trying to get water on the ice maker I'm gonna tell you the possibilities that it can be the first thing you're gonna check is the uh, water filter make sure the water filter is fine and also we're gonna go ahead and check make sure the um, filter housing is good if we press without the filter sometimes those filter housing have a bypass so when you remove the filter it will give you water so if it's the filter you should get water but we're not getting any water with the filter on or without it now we're going to go ahead and move to the next step and make sure we get in water from the water valve that, coming, that is coming from the uh, house. And then we're going to go ahead and check the water valve and find out if it's the water valve. According to my experience, I really believe we have a problem with the water valve because I do a lot of these water valves on the French door refrigerator and a side by side refrigerator like this one. Now, I don't want to get any confusion because sometimes when you turn off the water valve from the house, then doesn't want to come back on. So I'm going to go ahead and clip the um, pinch the water line because I don't want to mess with the water valve. And then I'm not going to have one issue. It's going to be more than one issue. So I don't want to get in that um, confusion. As you see, I haven't turned off the water valve from the house. And I have the water line pinch with my vice grips. That's how I'm going to know if I got water coming from the house. Now I'm going to, you know, remove the vice grips from the water line. And as you see, I got good water pressure. Now you can do this if your line is a PVC a line, flexible line, or rubber line, or stainless steel. You cannot do this if you have a copper line. So you will have to close the water valve from the house. Now I'm going to go ahead and check this water valve, the refrigerator water valve, by removing the filler screws and it will come out. Now I'm going to go ahead and install this water line again. However, just keep in mind that this part of the uh, testing, you have to do it with the refrigerator plugged in okay if you don't have any skills by you know dealing with electrical go ahead and just replace the water valve and you will you will remove every possibility okay this is a very simple diagnostic and as you see i'm laying the water going into the valve and i put a little bit uh, i put a cup right there in case it drips on water now this is the wire terminals that goes to the main water valve. This is a triple water valve, by the way. It has a main water valve that is the one to grab the water coming from the wall. 
and then it has the other two valves for the cold uh, water and for the ice now as you see i check it to see if i have power coming in and i do have 120 volts coming to check the water valve you need to go ahead and put your tester leads in this terminal that goes to the main water line and then you have to go to the water dispenser and press the switch like if you're gonna get water if your tester says that you have 120 volts that means it's power going to the main water valve so in this case i do have 120 volts going after i press the switch like i'm gonna get water if you don't have one of these testers you will find a link in the description of this video for a very affordable tester okay i disconnect right here because i wanted to check this valve but to check the other valves you would do the same thing if this one is giving you water remember you have to go and press the um, like trying to get water and if you get water in here when you have water coming in in here that means you know this valve is good but if you get water right here and you still don't get water or ice you have to leave this one connected and right now i'm gonna leave you a part of this original audio sorry for the uh, audio but it's you know it's not high quality but again i'm gonna go ahead and explain to you that you have to leave this one right here um, connected and this line will go to the filter housing and come back to this one right here to provide water to this one and the other one behind there now like i said if this one over here gives you water having water coming in and here you have to leave this one connected go into the filter housing that's how you know if the filter housing is good or not if you get water coming back to this one i'm gonna go ahead and leave the original audio like i said to explain to you a little bit better this one back again this one goes to the filter and then it comes back over here so if you disconnect here you're going to find out if the filter housing is bad then you're going to go ahead and replace the filter housing <coughs> then if you get one here then you're going to go ahead and repeat the same process over here disconnect and after this the big line is this one for the water so you're going to disconnect this one and press <coughs> now in case that original audio wasn't good enough i'm gonna go ahead and explain to you again in an over voice now in that video what i explained is that if we got water coming in here after you press the switch this water line goes to the filter housing this water goes from here to the filter housing coming back as you see it goes to the filter housing and then comes back to this line right there that line provides water to the ice maker and to the water dispenser in the front of the uh, refrigerator that's what i was trying to explain to you on that video with the original audio but in case you don't know that is the uh, second water valve but again it's one piece that's the one provides um, water to the water dispenser and the ice maker after you press this switch so the same way you check the primary water valve the same way you would check the other two valves now in our case we don't have any water coming in here and we have water coming from the water valve from the wall so we're gonna go ahead and replace the whole water valve now we do have to order this water valve so this is day one so we're going to go ahead and start putting everything back together put the cover back on okay and in a minute you will see part two of this repair which is the day when we come back and start installing the new 
water valve. Remember, disconnect the appliances to avoid electric shock. And again, this is day two. We're gonna go ahead and remove this back panel and also the water line from the wall. I really don't wanna mess with the water valve in the wall, so I'm just gonna clip, you know, and pinch the water line because sometimes when it's a brand new valve in the wall, I would turn it off, but in this case, that water valve doesn't look that good, so I don't wanna mess with it. But if your water valve is fine, just go ahead and, you know, do what you gotta do. Remember, take a picture before you remove the harness and before you remove the water valve to remember how it was because trust me you will need those pictures to remember how the water lines was positioned and also the wi the wire terminals and the wire harness okay as you see right there you have to press and release those um, water lines this water valve is a uh, press and release connections and as you see um, you're gonna see this a couple times in every water line because they all will come out the same way you will press that ring and it will release the water line this is the new part if you need this part go ahead and go to the link in the description of this video and you can get it from there remember to check if this part will work with your model so check with the model number all the time this is the new water valve as you see right there it's a triple water valve main water valve ice maker water valve and water line there we go again I'm gonna head I'm gonna go ahead and keep showing you how you press the ring to be able to release the water line so I press with those two fingers and with my back finger I just pulled out if you don't do it that way that water line will not come out in this part, I'm going to go ahead and um, start connecting the water lines that I'm removing into the new one. And this is another thing that I do. I always cut a little bit of the water hose to be able to put it in the new one because sometimes if you don't do that, they will start leaking because it's a rubber seal, the squeeze the water line so if you cut a little bit of the uh, water line it will go into a new position inside the water line you see pressed and with the back fingers pulled out that's how I do it let me show you again pressed and release you see the back fingers that's how I press it out or use your two hands with one hand you will press and with the other hand you will pull it out but that's the way i do it so you have an idea on how to get it done i keep cutting a little bit of these water lines that way the seal inside the water valve will go into a new spot on the water line and it will not leak i find this trick after one time that i was replacing a valve I noticed that it started leaking and it was a brand new valve and that's because the seal is a rubber seal inside this water line to prevent it from coming out and leaking so that seal has pinched you know and make like a mark on the uh, water line and if it goes to the same spot it, will, it can start leaking even if you have a brand new water valve that's a little trick to show you guys but always be careful you know try not to cut yourself while you do that because especially in those water lines inside it's kind of complicated to do that now if your water line has those kind of lock clips go ahead and put them back on because that will prevent the water lines from coming out if yours doesn't have that don't worry about it there's not coming this water lines popping out by itself but always make sure you push the water line all the way in how you know if you did it right if you pulled out and it comes out by you pulling it out that means you didn't put it all the way in 
again here's where you're gonna need those pictures that I told you to take because in this scenario some of those terminals are loose take pictures every time you're removing a wiring or a water line to remember where everything was and put it the same way and as you see it I have a photo on my phone right there next to me because I always do that even when I've been doing this for over you know 15 years 10 years um, was working for companies before I was doing this and you know I've been doing this for a long time but I still take pictures now we'll go ahead and put this uh, main line terminals and we're gonna go ahead and try to look for the position of this water valve and put it the same way it was this is what I'm saying if I didn't have those pictures I wouldn't remember how this water line was so it's always very convenient to take pictures before you remove anything as you see I'm making sure all the lines are in place nothing is coming out and go ahead and install the filler screws that is holding the water valve in place it has like a little hook on the top make sure the hook is inside the um, the hole and this is secured by the hook and also the screw and it will not go anywhere this is another part where you put this uh, back panel it's a male to female connections on the back of this panel this is aluminum panel and you will see where those arrows are male to female so it will hold the bottom part by those two you know male to female connection tops now we're going to go ahead and connect the water line and at this point we almost done we just have to make sure everything is working fine after we install the water line go ahead and plug in the refrigerator put it back in and yes guys we did clean behind there just to let you know because a lot of people start saying you know that it was a mess or whatever but yeah we did clean up before we push the refrigerator back and we clean the back panel now go ahead and set the temperature where it should be I always put the LGs between 34 and 37 degrees on the refrigerator side and zero degrees on the freezer side if you guys like this video please give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel thanks for watching